another chilling UK ghost haunting. Visited our chef every night. The chilling Hammersmith ghost haunts famous London pub. The iconic London pub said to be haunted by the Hammersmith ghost who even visits the previous live-in chef at night. You can imagine. I guess he wants company. The Black Lion, former, formerly known as the Black Lion, L-Y-O-N, has sat on the north bank of River Thames in London between Hammersmith and Chiswick in London for well over 200 years. It is home to a world-famous Skittle Alley and many flock there to watch the famous Oxford and Cambridge boat race each year. However, it's also shrouded in mystery, attracting tourists from across the globe, thanks to its resident ghost. Adjacent to the pub is Black Lion Lane, where a specter of the Hammersmith ghost is said to have lurked since the year 1803. The apparition was believed by locals to be a man who had died by suicide, with residents claiming they had been attacked by his ghost. The ghost is also said to have made appearances at St. Paul's Churchyard, now home to Hammersmith Roundabout, almost a mile away. But the plaque adorning the pub tells an interesting story of a case of mistaken identity which resulted in a murder investigation. In 1804, patrols were being carried out in the area as locals feared for their fate if they were to bump into the Hammersmith ghost. Excise officer Francis Smith was on Black Lion Lane when he believed he saw the ghost January 3rd, 1804. He then proceeded to fill his blunderbuss akin to a shotgun with ammunition and fired. Unfortunately, he mistakenly shot a bricklayer, Thomas Millwood, who had been dressed in white. His wife, speaking to the Old Bailey murder trial, told the court she had murdered Mr. Millbrook against dressing, against dressing, and she had warned him against dressing in white, as he had been mistaken for the apparition once before. <laughs> oh, the poor man. Smith was found guilty of murder and sentenced to death. However, he was later handed one year of hard labor instead after the ruling was revoked. The court case was complicated and later set a legal precedent in the UK, namely that someone could be held liable for their actions even if it was a result of mistaken belief. But this was not resolved until 180 years later at the Court of Appeals. Following the trial, it later emerged that it had been the local shoemaker, John Graham, who had been dressed in white sheet and terrifying residents. It's not thought, however, that Mr. Graham was ever punished for his antics. After he was killed, it's believed Mr. Millwood's body was brought to the pub after he was shot at an, in, at an inquest has been carried out there and it has now thought that the ghost haunts the pub. The former chef, who both worked and lived in the pub, even claimed to have seen the apparition every night. Fortunately, the managers have not had any recent sightings of the Hammersmith ghost. But speaking to Express UK, Yolanda Mrocek, who manages the pub with her husband Tom, said, We have not heard about the ghost for a long time now. Previously, the chef that used to live in one of those rooms claimed that the ghost visited him each night. However, she told Hammersmith and Fulham Council that a friend had also seen the ghost. In 2018, Miss Mrocek said she was standing in the hall and saw someone run past her, but there was no one there. Okay, so Black Lion Pub can be found at 2 South Black Lion Lane, Hammersmith, London on the north, north bank of uh, Thames River. And this is uh, one of the UK sightings of uh, ghosts, one of many. This is by Rihanna Ducan on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.